Hey folks, Rob Bushway with GottaBeMobile.com bringing you a very quick GBM shortcut sponsored by Lenovo. As always, we invite you to go to Lenovo.com and check out their tablet PCs like the X200 tablet as well as their netbooks, the S10-2 and the, and the S12, etc., etc. Go to Lenovo. Thank them for what they're doing for us. All right. So we've got one note up. This is a very quick look. This is not a review. This is not an in-depth look at inking and all that in OneNote and Word. It's just a quick look. So let's get into it. I'm in OneNote and let's go over. Uh, I've got my pen. You can't really see me, but um, so I've got my pen. We'll, we'll do some inking here and we'll go to draw. Here's the, um, the inking um, section. And so these ink pens are shared amongst all of the Office apps. Uh, so I can click another pen here and click that. And I can also click on this drop down and choose from some other pens. And if I um, choose a custom pen or do some other things, um, I can actually move, make, move some favorites up. Uh, go here to more color options. And do this. This interface right here is a, actually a little bit different than Word, so I'll go into Word and show you the, the favorites, but um, this was a custom pen that I added here, and I was able to move it around where I wanted. I can right-click that and choose Move Up, and then it will move it up in the list of favorites. Um, it actually would be nice to be able to drag and drop these pens around, but you actually right-click the pen area and move up, and then it moves it up your favorites. Um, all right, so now I've got my pen selected, and we'll do some inking here. All right, and you'll notice that we have um, ink to math. We have an option here, and now we can write our math equations, and it will recognize that and insert it and there we go we'll move that over here and it inserts it inserts it at the point that I wanted it to where I was inking so you can tell that it um, inserted the text for that and we also have all of our shapes and things like that we can um, switch to panning and pan up and down alright so this is where all the pins are located right there under draw now let's switch over to Word, and Word, the way this works is um, take my pen, and you notice there in the Office 2007, um, you would have to go to Review, and then you would see all your pen stuff there. Well now, once I take my pen to the screen, watch over here on the right side, you'll see ink tools shows up and then I click pens and then I see all my pen options you can tell this is a familiar interface looks very similar to the one in, note, in OneNote not exact though um, when I click the drop down here um, I can add my current pen to my favorites this uh, this is your favorite area and these are some of the built-in pens and so I can also set the line color let's say I want to do a uh, very dark red and let's make that very thick and when I ink in Word there we go now drop back down here add pen to favorites and now it's part of my favorite list right there now I can right click this and choose move up and it moves it up the list I can cycle through all my favorites by clicking these up and down arrows. All right, so now I can go into erase and click the eraser, erase that stuff, and also click to a highlighter or go back to pens. And now I'm back in pen mode. We'll select a red one, and there you go. All right, so that's a very quick look at inking within Word and OneNote. Now I want to show you this other quick tip for OneNote, and that's capturing a screen capture. So let's bring up our browser, 
and we're at got to be mobile. Um, I'm going to press the start button and what you'll see is we'll be able to screen capture something. Um, so I'll do start and then S. Now it went to this um, um, kind of a filter look that allow you to select and notice it says create a screen clipping of any region of the screen by dragging a rectangle with your mouse or pen. Great to see them in include that pen aspect there. Click anywhere to cancel the screen clipping. So now I'll take my mouse or pen and we'll go like this. And then it takes that screen clipping and it puts it in OneNote. Very nice screen clipping. Just uh, Windows button, which is the start. Um, the Windows start button and S will activate the screen clipping. Now I'm going to right click this and There should be an option here. We'll copy the text from our picture. And let's go down here and watch this. Uh, we'll paste that in. And there's all the text from the picture that it copied. That's pretty cool. Let's paste that into Word so you can actually see that better. Okay, so there's all the text didn't format it very well, but um, it copied the text and that's what we were wanting. You can tell we've got a few little um, conversion issues, Xavier, Lookior, and things like that. It does a pretty decent job. Um, could be better. Actually, probably the ink recognition <laughs> seems to be doing a little bit better job there. And we'll go back to the R1 note. And there we go. All right. so. It's been Rob Bushway with Gotta Be Mobile bringing you a very quick GBM shortcut highlighting just a few things um, in OneNote and Word. Expect much more from, uh, from Warner and Xavier and other people on other inking and things like that and uh, we'll get more in depth into OneNote. You guys take care. Have an awesome day.